And now for something completely different. So around uh, 12 years ago, I think, uh, when I was back in the UK, um, I used to go to a lot of boot fairs and, uh, and local auctions and things. And I was always fascinated to pick up any of these uh, old glass slides that I could find, thinking one day I would uh, research them and uh, and re-photograph them. So um, the other day I sort of rediscovered them after that many years and uh, I've decided to, to do something about it at last. So I've just made a very simple attempt at a, at a light box just with my normal photo light. Um, I can't show the full negative but um, you get the, the impression there's a very elegant looking uh, probably late Victorian or early Edwardian lady playing the piano and other things that we have is uh, what looks to be probably a sister and brother with their their bicycles so obviously a, a well-heeled family and finally well not finally but uh, an interesting one again look, looks very similar to uh, photos you see of uh, Queen Victoria's children with a little hobby horse there and finally one which is uh, a little strange I don't know if this is somebody from a from a fairground or uh, some sort of traveling circus or just uh, one of the uh, popular acts of the time who knows so what I'm going to do is to um, build up a light box uh, so that I can photograph these and uh, do a little bit of research on them. Uh, there are some here that are in absolutely terrible condition. Uh, this is as I, as I found them. Uh, no doubt they are all stuck together. So in fact there's two boxes there which appear to be fused. So somehow I'm going to look into getting those apart but um, that's going to be the subject of a, of a different video. In this video we're just going to make ourselves a little light box and uh, see how that works. So I've been very brave and ventured into my pack rat stores. Um, always a dangerous place to go. And uh, found this old Dell monitor. Um, this uh, is uh, an item from 2002, December 2002, so uh, it's not much use as a monitor. It does actually work, but um, nobody really needs this type of thing anymore. So it's going to become the donor for our little light box project. So let's get it apart and uh, see what we can do. So having removed the stand itself, um, I can't see any screws holding it together. Uh, it looks like uh, it probably just unclips. So there's a convenient place there. Yeah, so that wasn't uh, too stressful. Obviously we're going to want to keep the con controls and we've got the, the power supply under here. Uh, what we need to do is to uh, release the front panel so that we can take the actual LCD part of it out. And again, this appears to be held together with little clips. Yes, that's, uh, that's done it. So to remove the uh, the power supply. Um, this is feeding the fluorescent tubes for, for lighting the, the, the circuit and uh, I'm never a fan of put, just pulling on wires. I have these old uh, blunt side cutters for this job and just gently ease those out. That's the same for this connector here for the control board. Find 
gently two more at the top. So we've got it on, on camera, but uh, I we'll just have to remember that the, the, the pink one goes to the left in each case. Yeah, so that's easiest to remove from that end. That's gotten rid of the power supply. So now we can turn our attention to removing this front bezel and uh, getting rid of the actual LCD panel. So these circuit boards, uh, obviously the vertical and uh, horizontal part of the display, so we're not gonna need those. There's a couple of little screws that we'll remove and then uh, lift these little circuit boards up. So with these boards unscrewed, we should now be in a position to be able to remove this outer bezel. So here we can see on the top, obviously the, the actual panel itself. We're not gonna need that anymore. So yet more little clips to uh, remove the LCD panel itself. Oh, it's beginning to look more like the light box that we need. Just temporarily um, reassembled the unit with the power supply and plugged the, the tubes in. Now I've seen some people take this diffuser panel off um, but I'm just going to try it as, as it is and uh, see what sort of results we get. So it looks like uh, a nice even illumination. So if I get the, the negative now, uh, for those youngsters out there who are not familiar with these things, there are, there are two sides um, the, to, the, to these glass negatives. Um, this side I don't know if it's going to be able to see it. this. This side is the is the glass side, just the glass, and on the back we have to be very careful not to to touch. This is the the emulsion side, and uh, we're going to be cleaning these in a in a later video. But um, if you're going to be photographing them, just work out which side is the is the upper glass side side, and that looks pretty damn good to me. Um, let's see if we can zoom in on that. Yeah, so if we take a picture of that as well, I'll just see if I can do a quick process of, of that. So I'm just going to reassemble the screen now and then we can use our light box in anger. So I've reassembled it back into its, its frame and uh, we'll just uh, check it out again. Takes a moment to come on. That, that looks good. So let's just zoom in for you. So there we can see the uh, the children on their uh, hobby horse. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's going to be uh, be excellent. So just one final thing before I go. I'll just show you the uh, the strange lady in the who knows it's a vaudeville or. Maybe she was a mystic, Mystic Meg. 